Hey everyone, it's Dragon Craig aka Leo Bryan, and tonight with my friend Tyke, I'm going to be seeing Black Widow. We're going at 5.45pm Irish time, so I'm expecting Black Widow to be a good film. The last MCU film we got was Spider-Man Far From Home, which, as you know, is my favourite live-action movie of all time. So I'm very intrigued to see Black Widow. I thought, uh, spoiler, spoilers, you know, just in case you haven't seen Avengers Endgame, I won't spoil it. Um, the stuff they did with Black Widow in Endgame was very, very shocking. Um, that's all I'll say to avoid spoilers, just in case some of you guys haven't seen the movie. Um, but I'm expecting Black Widow to be a good film, some good character development, some good um, action. It's been getting pretty good reviews. I've been hearing by most people that it's um, pretty good. Some say it's amazing. Some say that it's just, um, you know, decent. I make, uh, yeah, no, so I'm intrigued to see it. I'm keeping an open mind. Um, I'm going to be using my Odeon voucher that I got for Christmas to get my ticket. So I am intrigued to see it. I'm going to try vlog the cinema. I might not be able to too well because, you know, it's social distance. Um, but I'll try my best. Um, I am, um, yeah, so I'm pretty excited. I haven't been to the cinema in six months. I haven't been, well, seven months actually. Um, I haven't been since December when I went to see Home Alone uh, with my friend. Uh, they did a classic screening of Home Alone during Christmas, so I went to that, um, which was you know great. So I'm very excited to go to the cinema again. It's been ages. It's been too long since I've been uh, since I've been to the cinema, so I missed the cinema. So yeah, um, I'm very excited, and I hope that it's a good film. So let's go. Disney legally on both the Simpsons. Wow, that poster is horrifying. <laughs> Paw Patrol the movie. <laughs> Five years ago. So we saw Black Widow. So Ty, what did you think of it? Pretty good, yeah. Like some parts were mm -hmm. obviously it would confuse some people, but yeah. it was actually pretty good, yeah. Yeah, no, I thought there was one plot point. I don't want to spoil it because it's a good film. It's worth watching. That had me confused. And then they actually explained it later on. I was like, oh, so I'll give you props to the writing. I thought it was good. I, I enjoyed it for what it was. And I'd watch it again. I'd actually even buy the Blu-ray. I do think some of the action, the climax, was a bit far-fetched, a bit over the top. But it was good. And the acting was good. Um, obviously, I will go into more depth. But I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. Do you have anything else you want to say? Like, what would you rate it out of 10? I'd say, like, a 7.5 out of 10. Yeah, I, I, I liked it. I actually enjoyed it slightly more than I thought I would. Because I, yeah, I was expecting it to be good, but I wasn't expecting it to be, like, amazing, if you get me. And while I don't quite think it's amazing, but I did enjoy it. I, I enjoyed the film for what it was. There are some moments that I found maybe a little slow, but it, it, was, it was good. Um, it was pretty, pretty good. Black Widow was released in 2021 and was directed by Kate Shortland. It tells the story of Natasha and the mysteries and secrets of her family, and Natasha and Yelena have to work together to discover the mysteries. So here's my ticket for Black Widow when I went to see it today. I uh, should be able to see it. Hang on, sorry. Yeah, my bad if you can't see it all that well. But um, no, so I saw the movie today with my friend. We gave her little thoughts. So I thought it was pretty good. I thought the story was interesting. It was investing, it was engaging, it was fun. I do feel there are certain plot points that had me a little confused, but thankfully they actually explain what, how that happened later on, so I have to give major props to the writing. The direction by Kate Shortland is very good. It's a lot more violent and darker 
than I had expected. Like the beginning was, oh boy, like that was that was serious. You know, that was that was quite dramatic, and I think it went in a lot of the right directions. Uh, there were some good plot twists, and there's some great action scenes. We'll get to the action scenes in a minute, but I liked the story. It was engaging. It was interesting. There's a lot of good character interactions and dialogue, which is which is something to always appreciate in fiction. And I think it was it was good. It was a good way to build a little bridge between Captain America: Civil War and Avengers: Infinity War. And I really like the ending and how that ties in with Infinity War. And I really like the post credit scene that ties in with the end of Avengers: Endgame, which was very good. I thought that was very interesting. The action scenes were good. Some of them I felt, especially the climax, were very, very over the top and far fetched, and I just felt mm, they're that's ah, a bit much, you know. Like they're trying so hard to be epic, and it just didn't feel right for the story. Um, not to say it was bad, but just a little over the top. I feel, but it was good. The visuals, cinematography, and special effects. Uh, it's the MCU, so it looks phenomenal. There's, you know, there's some amazing cinematography, and like I said, there are some very good action sequences. Natasha's arc was really good. I enjoyed seeing her in the film, and I enjoyed seeing more of her independence. Yelena was an interesting character too. I enjoyed seeing her dynam dynamic with Natasha, and the bond was quite strong. Characters such as the Red Guardian, other characters, they were good, like, very entertaining, like, very, very interesting. I was really enjoying the character acts in the story more than I imagined I would. The villains, however, oh, the villains are so were very, very confusing to me, and they weren't very interesting at all, and were very boring and quite forgettable. So the villains, yeah, they're a bit of a letdown. Like, yeah, the villains, they weren't that good in my opinion. The soundtrack was okay. It has an okay music score. So I enjoyed Black Widow. I thought it was good. I enjoyed it. Overall, Black Widow was pretty good. A good story and characters with some pretty solid action and an okay soundtrack. I'm going to give Black Widow a 7 out of 10. So yeah, um, I wouldn't call it amazing, but I think it's a pretty good film. I'd buy it on Blu-ray. Um, yeah, I'm glad I saw it. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next review. And until again, guys, skadoosh everyone and take care.